picture the scene. It's just before dawn on the 10th of September, 1814. In a field outside Newcastle, Emlyn, there's about to be the last duel in Wales between Thomas Heslop and John Bainon. Only one of them will walk away alive. According to the story, this is how it goes. Historian Ken Jones helps me to reconstruct the events. Well, they met here early in the morning, in, 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 on early one morning in September and uh, together with their seconds and they were going to walk the ten paces and the story went that uh, Bynan turned at five and shot Heslop in the back, killing him. But now Ken thinks that story is wrong. He's found notes from the trial into Heslop's death and tracked down the bullet which killed him. It was kept by a surgeon and passed down as a family heirloom. Evidence now shows Heslop wasn't shot in the back. It turned out that this bullet had uh, passed down uh, from the family in the wills all the way down to the gentleman and lady who have it now in Oxford. And back in August I actually went and saw the bullet and uh, it is still in a pigskin parchment. To find out more he's come to Llanderfriog Church where Heslop is buried. Good morning, Robert. How are you this morning? I believe you've got something I would like to see. The burial record shows Heslop was from the West Indies, but not much more. I was hoping there might be um, either employment or where, he, where he'd lived in while he was in Newcastle, Emlyn. It's thought that Heslop came from Jamaica. Now Ken has written to the authorities there to find out more and uncover the true story behind Wales's last duel.